Patricia Fry is always looking for ways to beat back pain. Her lower spine is her trouble spot. I would work 12 hour shifts and would maybe be lucky if you got up your seat for a half an hour, if that, to get up and walk. Being sedentary is a big back no-no, especially when coupled with slumping, slouching, and poor posture. If your spine could talk, it might ask for a makeover. If you have experiencing back pain, the first place to go usually is just to visit your doctor, just to make sure that it is a mechanical back problem and not pain coming from something in, within your sort of organs. Kath Kinross works with spine patients at the Lee Center for Rehabilitation and Wellness. Assuming that it's a mechanical back pain problem, the next best place is a physical therapist's visit because then we can assess, you know, which muscles or which joints or what posture type problems are creating this back pain and then we can design a treatment plan to treat that. Soothing back pain doesn't come easy. You may have to learn how to stand and sit properly and practice it enough until it becomes second nature. For most of us, just correcting our posture can make a huge impact. Just the way that we sit in a chair, the way that we, you know, maybe unload the dishwasher, the way that we do the yard work. Um, I mean, just little changes that we make to our lifestyle can make a big impact on back pain. Adding exercise provides extra strength and helps you hold your body in a strong position. It's something Trisha works on. Do the classes here, stretching. They have a back class. I do the treadmill. That's a lot of it, strengthening your core. So give your back a break and create healthy habits. Before you know it, they'll become the new normal. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.